Talk about what's up guys, it is K Twitter here and I bring you with some very interesting news for you guys today. I thought this was kinda cool. So like back in about 2002, that's when the guy says this happened, um, Disney actually nearly made a Kingdom Hearts anime television series. No, I'm not kidding, they actually nearly made a television series about Kingdom Hearts. Now it has been a rumor for like a very long time actually that yes this was a thing they were actually going to make a Kingdom Hearts animated television series but they just never went through with it for some reason but it has now been officially confirmed by Seth Kearsley who would have been the director and writer of the television series who released storyboards of the show online for everyone to see what could have been, you know? And he also revealed some details on what the show would have been like, so let's go over those. Now this thing that dates back to like 2002, so I guess it was like right after the first game was released, and he was contacted by Disney TV Animation to create an animated television series about Kingdom Hearts, and he was so excited about this opportunity to do this, because he played the first game from beginning to end, loved it, so he was very excited about the opportunity to create a show like this. And what he described the show was, in all caps, incredibly dark, so this would have made a very dark kind of show. And he said it would have combined anime style and classic Disney style of animation and combined them, you know, so that's what the animation would have been like in this show. Um, that would have been interesting to see. I don't know if that would have mixed well, but it would have been interesting to see, you know. Now, it's actually a specific panel that he points out in this storyboard thing where it shows how dark this show would have been. And it's the last one where you see Riku possessed by Maleficent right after he snatches the lamp, which I'm showing right now. And yeah, that looks pretty dark. So this would have been a very dark kind of television show. And I would be very interested to see what kind of direction he would have went with that. Now, in terms of story, he said for the series, he wanted it to stay true to the game without completely copying it all together you know which I feel him there I didn't I don't want him to like completely copy the story of the game itself so I'm um, guessing he went for his own like original thing now in terms of story for the pilot it would have taken place in Agrabah and it would have followed Sora and Riku trying to get back the lamp which is the key to Agrabah the pilot would have started off on Destiny Islands where you see Sora Riku and Kairi they're all having a good time and then it turns into like a nightmare and stuff and then Sora wakes up and he finds himself on the gummy ship with Donald and Goofy on the way to Agrabah and then we see Riku and Maleficent and Jafar, and then Riku and Sora meet up and fight against a lot of Heartless in the streets. They both go for the lamp. As soon as Riku touches the lamp, it is as though Maleficent has control over him, and ultimately Sora gets the lamp away from Riku before a giant Heartless hand pulls him through a portal. So that's the story that the pilot would follow, whom who knows what the actual story of the series would have been. Um, in my opinion, what I think the story would have been for the series is like, they would be going world to world in each episode, like in the pilot, they'd be going to Agrabah, the next one, they would be going to Beast Castle, the next one, they'd be going to Olympus Coliseum, etc, etc, you know, so I think that's how the series would have been structured, and it seems like Maleficent would have been, like, the main antagonist of the series, like, in each world they go to, they find her, and they have to battle a bunch of Heartless, and they have to do a certain thing, you know, so I guess that's how these series would have been structured, I guess. Um, but that's just my opinion. You can write down your opinions in the comments below. See what you think the series uh, story would have been. Another really cool thing that I want to talk about is um, if you notice in some of the storyboards in here, they lack background animations. And there's a reason behind that. Um, so what he kind of envisioned for the show is... Um, what he would do is go back to the archives of Disney itself and then get old animations from the Disney movies themselves and then place that in the background of it and then animate everything in front of that so it would feel like it's actually in the movie. So I think that would be a really cool idea if that actually happened so it could actually feel like we're in the movie and everything is just animated in front of those uh, animations that are actually from the movie itself. So I think that would have been kind of cool if that actually happened. And from what he says in this post, um, he says the pilot was actually received exceptionally well but there was much respect for the Japanese director who was making the games I'm guessing that's his story Nomura and he says there was going to be more and more games coming out down the line and they did not want to muddy the water with the series they did not want to make things even more confusing than it already is you know because the Kingdom Hearts story isn't confusing enough um so I think that's really the reason why they did not go through with the series it would just confuse people so much more than they actually are another thing that he says in here is like company-wide strategizing but I think really the main reason is because they did not want to confuse people even more than they actually are and that makes me think that this story would have been non-canon because I think it would have confused people saying hey is this is actually part of the storyline or not and he they kept saying no no it's not and they just would have to deal with that and it was confused people so much 
and they did not want to do that, so I guess that's why they ultimately did not go with it. So what are my overall thoughts on the series altogether? I think the series would have actually been freaking awesome if it came out, so I've always wanted there to be a Kingdom Hearts animated television series, and hey, this would have been it, you know? So I think it would have been Sora, Donald, and Goofy going from world to world, um, doing a certain objective, maybe Riku would come there once in a while, I don't know. Um, and Maleficent would be like the main antagonist of the series going wherever they go and just doing evil things like she usually does. The series would have been dark, so it would have been interesting to see what he would have done with that dark tone. You know, he said in here it would be intensely dark, so I don't know if that would have been too dark, but hey, what's wrong with dark, you know? And he says it would have been combining anime style and classic Disney style of animation, combining them together, you know, I don't know how exactly that would mix, but it would have been interesting to see, you know? And it was also put like, um, old animations from the Disney movies and then put them in the background and then everything and made everything over that so it can feel like it's an actual movie you know i guess that's what he was going for there um i think that would have been really interesting as well it would have been really cool if he did that um it's a real shame that this show got canceled it really is this show would have been freaking awesome i would have watched the hell out of it i would have been three at the time but hey i would have watched it in my later years you know when i start getting into kingdom hearts and start learning about all this stuff it would have been it would have been a really awesome show if they did that but i do understand why they got rid of it you know they don't want to confuse things even more than they actually are because there's enough confusion with kingdom hearts already so they don't want to complicate things even further but hey the series would have been awesome regardless you know now do i actually think they will revive this project and start working again on another kingdom hearts uh, animated television series I don't really know at this point. I guess it's really up to Square Enix at this point if they want to do that because I think they were the ones to make the call at first saying, hey, uh, we do not want to confuse our audience even more. If this is non-canon, it's going to confuse our audience even more. We do not want to do that. So just don't go along with it if it's non-canon. So it was not. So they did not go along with it. And if they revive this project ever, please make it canon. Please make a canon, because that's the reason why they got rid of it in the first place, really. So, just please make a canon if you ever revive it. And now that all this stuff's out, everybody knows about it, everybody's talking about it, um, they are going to get a lot of fans saying, Hey, this show looks really, really awesome. I really like the ideas behind it. I think it would have been a really awesome show. I would like them to revive it, you know? And then they'll see that as like, Hey, there's a lot of fan demand for us to revive this uh, animated television series about Kingdom Hearts. Maybe let's do it. And then they will, and then, uh, then it will come out and everybody will be happy, you know? But, um, I don't really know about that. Um, but this show looked amazing. The show looked awesome. I think the ideas behind it were really, really cool. Um, but I really watched the hell out of it, you know, because I've always wanted a Kingdom Hearts television series, and that would have been it, you know, but it's just a real shame that it got canceled. Alright, so that's all I want to talk about with you guys today. Make sure to write down in the comments below your opinion on this Kingdom Hearts television show. Did you like it or did you not like it? Make sure to write down in the comments below your opinion. Do you want them to revive it? Uh, make sure to write down your opinion in the comments below. Also, make sure to write down in the comments below some discussion topics you want me to talk about in that may feature topic in the next video and may feature channel in that video as well. So, you want to go to that. Make sure to subscribe to and become a Keyblade Builder. My goal is to hit 2,000 subscribers. So if you want to have me reach the goal, make sure to subscribe. This has been Kate Social, your normal place for everything Kingdom Hearts, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.